Hey, hey, happy day. So I was just uh, contemplating many, many things, all my tabs, all my rabbit holes, just going down, exploring them, feeling and seeing and listening to what's up within the self. And uh, you know, I could uh, speak ad nauseum about all <laughs> the information in all the tabs and all the things that are coming up so firstly let me say happy new moon in Sagittarius both the Sun and the moon are in Sagittarius today and Jupiter comes into play which is the planet for Sagittarius it's the planet of good fortune expansion travel uh, opportunities uh, good fortune and uh, perhaps also uh, being a little more social wanting to expand beyond the self so perhaps codependencies will be coming to an end we are releasing those things that no longer serve us we've been talking about this for a long time but it's actually over now because the eclipse the eclipse season that we've been going through that's been uh, creating a lot of turbulence and upheavals feeling like the rug is constantly being pulled out from under our feet um, that's coming to an end now so we will find more stability more security and um, we will certainly be able to wear, find a better way forward and we will be following our hearts in this regard um, uh, opening up to our dreams wishes and desires <coughs> And seeing ways that that is possible so most notably um, it's all about dotting our I's and crossing our T's so let me explain that so you are the it thing um, in your life you are the most important project that you will uh, constantly always unavoidably be working on and the choices you make now have long-term consequences you might think you're getting away with things but um, it turns out that there's always a sting in the tail things have a way of coming back to bite us in the ass um, and there's a humorous twist in the tail and there's always um, a, less, a blessing in the lesson so um, it occurs to me that that by do dotting your I, you are staying focused. That is like this seed of potential on top of you. It's like your head on top of your body. And then crossing your T's is a bit like the cross. So are you living through the heart of yourself? And are you using your heart to merge your higher self and your lower selves? So that's quite an interesting and fun musing. Uh, and then it occurs to me when it comes to communication, you know, at school and through our education systems, we often uh, learned subjects up our home languages English Spanish French um, Afrikaans whatever it is to uh, relative to your culture and or environment um, what I also wondered is we learned a second language so a language that we could speak elsewhere in the world that to broaden our horizons so why don't we learn sign language because not only will we, we be including the non-hearing uh, we'll be able to uh, include everyone but across every language we would all understand uh, the sign language doesn't it make sense to speak your home language and then sign language i don't know it's time to think out the box and uh, see our horizons with new eyes, our landscapes with new eyes. And this new moon is about releasing, resetting, and perhaps uh, allow the phoenix to rise out of the flames. So, namaste, happy day.